Did you know that you can gamify PowerPoint presentations using stars, levels, and a leaderboard? It's true. I'm gonna show you how you can use these features to gamify any PowerPoint presentation, whether that's lesson content, trainings, different classes, or even fun, creative PowerPoint games like Wheel of Fortune, Family Feud, and Jeopardy. Now, to easily award stars to your audience, have them level up and show them a leaderboard, we're gonna download ClassPoint. ClassPoint is a free interactive teaching add-in that integrates right into your PowerPoint presentation. That way, all those gamification features are easily accessible. You can head to classpoint.io to download and install for free. Step one is to create a class. This way we have a unique class code and we can track our audience progress throughout all the different sessions we have together. To do that, in our class point tab in your PowerPoint ribbon, click on my classes and we can go ahead and add a new class. So you can type in the name of your class and give it a unique class code. So this could be letters and numbers. Then we can add a image for our class if we'd like. That one looks good. And the next step is to add participant names. So if you're doing a one-off presentation or don't know the names of your audience yet, you can just go ahead and select finish and we can fix this later and add names. So stick around. However, if you do know your audience names, you can begin typing them here or we can import it from a CSV file. So I have a file of a bunch of names here. And once everyone is added, then we can go ahead and select finish. Step two is bring those gamification elements to your presentation. So during your PowerPoint presentation, we want to switch to that save class that we just made. So click on the class code here in the corner and we can go ahead and change to that saved class that we made. Your audience names will be listed here and they can begin earning stars even before they joined in on their own device. So there are lots of different ways that you might be awarding stars to your students. So this could be for participation, classroom management, classroom behavior, or you can use it when they answer questions correctly as well. So let's say, for example, I have a question here and I verbally ask my audience to just shout out the answers. As they're shouting out the answers, I can click back into the My Class window and award stars to those who have participated. Now, if I don't really want my audience shouting a whole bunch of different words at me, I can instead use the name picker. So we have a card view here, or more fun, we have the wheel view. So this, we can click on the wheel, and a name will be selected. I can have them answer the question, and for participation, I can award them a star, or I can wait until they answer the question correctly. So along with the card view and the wheel, we also have auto pick, that way if you want to um, select more names than one at a time, you can do that that way and award them all stars. Now, if you have any interactive questions in your presentation, like the one that we have here, invite your audience to join using the name that you added for them into this class. If you haven't added names yet, you can go ahead and click on those three bars here and toggle on to allow guests. And now anybody can join in your class. To join the ClassPoint class, your audience can scan the QR code here or type in the classpoint.app URL onto any browser. Once all of your audience is joined in, they can begin responding to the interactive quiz questions you have throughout your presentation. For more information on adding this interactive quiz questions in your presentation, take a look at the video linked up above. Now, you might have noticed that the audience members have a little badge next to their name. This indicates which level that they're on, and all of these levels are fully customizable by you when you're using ClassPoint Pro. So you can see if we give Bird a couple more points, they have updated, upgraded to level two. So back in our PowerPoint edit mode, when you click on your user profile and in the gamification section here, you can update these levels and how many points and stars it takes to reach that level. This way you can really run your class and this gamification on what's fitting for you. Now let's jump back into our PowerPoint presentation and take a look at that leaderboard. Down here on the toolbar, you can open up the leaderboard icon at any moment during your presentation. You can use this to motivate your students and have a little bit of a competition during any point in your presentation to show them where they rank against their peers. So we have a total stars rank, and this is a great way to track the progress through every single time that you use that saved class. Or you can check out the current class rank, and that is just for today's session. 
And that's it. Who would have thought it'd be so easy to add gamification into any PowerPoint presentation? Using the stars, the levels, and the leaderboard, you can add motivation to your audience during your presentations like never before. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sarah from ClassPoint. Subscribe to the ClassPoint channel. That way you can stay updated with the latest PowerPoint and ClassPoint tips and tricks.